Let's look at some of the Google features that you can do inside your actual Gmail account because there's some cool productivity things that you can switch on which make your life a little bit easier in Gmail. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up my Gmail mailbox here and this is my test account. So I've got lots and lots of emails in here waiting to be triaged and waiting to be managed. Some of the first things I do when I go into my settings are to switch on a couple of cool features. One of those is this one here, the send and archive button. What that does is a two-step process where it will actually send the email that you're working with and managing and also archive the email at the same time. It basically means it takes it out of the inbox and it puts it into a special folder called all mail, which is where all of your email goes once it's been taken out of the inbox. Now, nothing gets deleted from all mail. It's kind of like a bucket that always lives there and always allows you to get back to your emails through search if you ever need to get back to them. But once we've dealt with an email, we can safely archive it and take it out of the inbox. Some of the other things that I like are to switch on all of the personalization features. That gives you Google's Gemini AI to help you write emails. When you're composing an email, it'll also auto-complete the email for you based on what it thinks you might be typing. You can just hit the tab key. It'll automatically complete that for you, which I really like. A couple of other things here like smart reply is also one of the smart features. I basically just go and switch on all these clever things that Google has all of their all of their AI. There we go. Google's added a new feature here. You can switch on smart features. I assume that's looking at things like, okay, bring your calendar events into calendar, blah, blah, blah. All right, yeah, that's pretty straightforward. You should have those switched on. You'll notice here that I've got desktop notifications switched off. I would recommend you switch on keyboard shortcuts. Now in the advanced features, I would recommend you switch on auto advance. I really like this feature because it's going to allow you to move to the next newest email once you've dealt with a single email. What usually happens when you reply to an email in Gmail is you hit reply and then it takes you back to the inbox, but you can get distracted by the new emails that are coming in at the top of the inbox. Auto advance takes you up to the next newest email automatically instead of sending you back to the inbox. Templates, super useful if you're the kind of person who wants to automatically have a scripted response of some sort written there, that's useful. And of course I leave the unread message icon off so I don't distract myself. If you liked this video, we've got plenty more on the channel covering this topic and much, much more.